Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to teach you how to import GIFs into Unreal Engine 5, which looks a little something like this. So this is basically just a small little cyberpunk level that I'm working on for my Batman Beyond project. And of course, since the setting is cyberpunk, I got to have a ton of animated billboard ads like all over the place. So I thought, why don't I just try to use a bunch of GIFs for it? So I just kind of got a bunch of animated little GIFs here that I got from the internet and I kind of sprinkled them around. Like, here we go. Here's something from like Pulp Fiction. Like, this is like a dance club, I guess. I don't know. I got like this old timey VR, like phone commercial looking ad thing. It's kind of cool. I thought it was a little retro. I thought it fit pretty well. This is something from like, I think Ghost in the Shell, I want to say. This is like a little Batman, like Easter egg. But I mean, yeah, I got I got these things everywhere. There's a Playboy one right there. I mean, I got them literally sprinkled over the place. Here we go. Here's an Amazon one, but you can like hardly even tell that it's Amazon, but you know, it's there. They're literally all over the place. And it just honestly just breathes like a ton of life into the level and into this into the shot. Now essentially all these are is just like a bunch of PNGs laid out in a sequence and then they're turned into sprites which are then turned into animated flip books that I place into the scene. So now that I showed you what it looks like and what it is, I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's say I wanted to add another GIF or two into the scene. I got like a couple right here that I think are cyberpunk-esque, you know, they could, they could work like especially this one or heck maybe even this one. I think this is pretty cool too. But let's just say this is the one that I want to use so I'm going to go ahead and download it right click, save image as, and let's just save it. So now that you have your GIF picked out, let's jump into After Effects where we're going to then export it out as a PNG sequence. Now you don't need to have After Effects to export it out as a PNG sequence or even Premiere Pro. I'm pretty sure there's some online converters that you can use to export a GIF to a PNG sequence. Uh, if not, you can pretty much just use any editing software out there. They all pretty much do the same. The point is, is that we need to take the GIF and turn it into a PNG sequence. So I have mine pulled up here in After Effects and I'm actually kind of want to get rid of the black background. So really quick, I'm going to throw on the Unmult effect from Red Giant and see if that works. And it did. That's beautiful. It's just exactly what I wanted. So now I just got to export it out as a PNG sequence. So I'm going to go File, Export, Add to Render Queue. I have a preset here that is set to a PNG sequence. Now you probably won't have that. So what you do is you just, you just click on the settings option right there. You click format and you click PNG sequence and you want to make sure it's RGB plus alpha. If you're going to have transparency, if you have transparency in your GIF, then you want to make sure you export it out with RGB plus alpha. If you don't, then your transparency just won't be there in Unreal Engine. So make sure you do that. In my case, I do have alpha, I do have transparency, I want that. So RGB plus alpha, and then you click OK. And then you click right here and you set your output directory and save. And then you hit render. And just like that, it's done. <laughs> now that we're back in Unreal Engine, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder in my within my GIF ads folder. I'm going to, and I'm going to name it AI phone. Just like that. And double click to open it up. Then I'm just going to go ahead and drag in all the PNGs that I exported out. Just like that. There they are. Then I'm going to select all of them, right click, sprite actions, and create sprite. Then it creates a sprite for every single PNG image. Select all the sprites. You want to make sure that they're blue. The sprites are blue, the PNGs are red. So select all the blue ones, right click, create flipbook. You can name it whatever, and there it is. And I like it just like that. And then I drag it into the scene and it is already emissive casting light into the scene. I wanna find a good spot for this somewhere deep in the city. I wanna to try to find a good spot for this of where I could put it. And actually, I'm wondering if maybe right here would be a good spot for it. Let's check and see. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna rotate it over. Now I already have like a ton of ads in here. So this is just making it even more busy, but I mean, I kind of love it because it's kind of what cyberpunk is. It's just like a bunch of ads in your face, just consumerism, like turned up to the max. And there we have it. It's right there in the scene animated. And it's even got its transparency that we uh, did away with using the unmult effect from Red Giant. I am all you need, AI. Awesome.
pretty dope. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just that. All that it is really is just creating a PNG sequence from the GIF and then importing it as a sprite in a flipbook into Unreal. Now, unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't control like the timing of it within Sequencer. It's just something that's just there in your level playing on loop over and over and over. And if that's all you need, then great. But uh, if you need to like be able to control the timing of it, then you might have to use the media play actor within Unreal. Now, unfortunately that doesn't work natively with the GIF, like GIF format. But again, you can actually just do the same thing where you export it out as a PNG sequence or an EXR sequence and then bring that into Unreal Engine 5 and import that as a media play actor. And if you wanna know how to do that, I have a tutorial right up there somewhere, one of here, where you can click and watch that tutorial and then find that out. But for something much more simple like this, it works great. And for me personally, in this project and in the cyberpunk level, this is all I need. So there you have it. In the future, I'm gonna be making more videos on my Unreal Engine 5 workflows and specifically about my Batman Beyond project that I'm working on. So if you wanna stay tuned and stay updated with that, be sure to subscribe, click the button below. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Also, if you learned something new, be sure to like the video down below. It helps push out the video to other people who might be interested. And if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll do my best to help out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on all my socials linked down below and I'll catch you in the next one.